Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own DIY handmade journal from scratch. So let's begin. I'm starting off by cutting a biscuit box. You can use any cereal box of this type. I'm now just trimming it down to the size I want my journal to be. Then I am covering it with a packaging paper. Cut triangles on the corners and stick it. Now I took a piece of cardboard of the size of the spine and I stuck it on the spine. Now I have uh, two pieces of uh, cardboard which is of the size of the cover. Since I'm making a window style uh, cover, tracing the shape of the image that I want in my cover and I cut that down. Now I stuck fabric on the spine. This will make sure that the spine does not tear up uh, later in the future when the journal becomes chunkier. Then I stuck the cardboard pieces. I am painting it. I am going to give it a crackling effect. So I am going to use two different colors. So first I am giving a coat of dark color. Then I am using this crackle medium and I will spread it evenly on the cover and before it gets dried up I will top it up with sky blue color. If you don't have a crackle medium you can also use white glue but make sure that you use in a large amount to see some visible cracks. And also if you don't want to paint you can uh, stick pattern papers which will make the step even more easier. Now with the same light blue color, I'm just highlighting the spine because there is fabric, so just highlighting that texture. I'm sticking this blue floral pattern paper on the inner spine. Then I'm also covering the inner cover with this vintage pattern paper. I'll leave the link of uh, this pattern paper in the description. Now I took another uh, pattern paper and I made that as a pocket and I stuck it on the back in the cover and with the remaining piece of uh, the pattern paper I made a tuck spot on the front in the cover. So now to make my cover look more vintagey I'm using this brown color pigment ink pad. With the help of a sponge, I am just uh, going around the corners and edges. Also doing it on the inner cover. Then I also inked the edges of the image. Now with the help of a copper metallic color, I'm just going around the corners and edges of the cover. You can also use an art wax but uh, these metallic paints make it more quicker and easier. Next I stuck down the image and also gave a coat of Mod Podge for the gloss finish. So now the cover is all dried up and ready. Now I'm making a hole on the top of the spine. So I just used a needle and a jumper to make hole. So this hole is for attaching charm. If you don't like to have charm in your journal then you can skip this part. Then I inserted an eyelet. I don't have a, a crocodile puncher of this size so I just used the back of my jumper and hammered it. I also did on the front and back cover to make a closure for my journal.
Next, I am showing you some options for papers that you can put in your journal. I have some uh, acetate sheet, some ba baking sheet, some paper bags and envelopes. And I also have some uh, ruled paper and uh, naturally aged paper. Also have this bunch of children's book pages which is again naturally aged. Then some colored and scrap paper. coffee dyed sheets and a bunch of pattern paper which I printed and some are some I bought start by folding each page in half and cut it according to the size of your journal if the page is bigger than the journal then cut it according to the size of your journal You can also go ahead and give a tri fold to make fold out page. Now after the pages are folded in half and also cut according to the size of the journal, I am just picking up pages from each category and trying to mix match it and making a signature. So I'm going to make 8 signature in total. So each signature will have uh, 5 papers so which will make 10 pages in a signature. So this might take about uh, some time. You have to see which one works well. Now all my 8 signatures are ready. Now it's time to bind them all. I have marked 3 equal lines vertically on the spine and an 8 equal lines horizontally. 8 because I have 8 signatures and 3 lines because I am going to do pamphlet stitch. So wherever these lines meet are the points where you have to make holes. Next I am taking a piece of paper, it can be any piece of paper, fold it in half and mark those 3 vertical points. So this is going to be a guide to make holes on the signature. Now take the signature and clip it using a paper clip. Make holes on them using a needle. Now you can see that I have made holes on the spine. Now thread a needle, slide the needle center hole of the signature to the center hole of the first row of the spine. Now don't pull it fully, leave about few inches thread inside. Now take the needle to the bottom hole of the spine to the bottom hole of the signature. Then to the top hole of the signature to the top hole of the spine and out. Now take the needle back to the middle hole. Detach the needle and uh, tie two tight knots. And that is how you do a pamphlet stitch. I will bind the rest of the signature off camera. So this is how the journal is looking like. Now I'll go ahead and I'll add my charms. For that I am using some bunch of uh, strings and I will tie it on the hole that I made earlier and I'll attach beads and charms in it. So this is how my charms are looking like. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I'll be soon posting a video of the flip through of my journal. So stay tuned and also make sure to check out my other videos on DIYs and junk journaling. Bye.